Hi, I'm Michael Murphy. Uh, I'm 17 years old. I'm in grade 12. Um, I've worked in theater productions, most notable amongst them, uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber's production of Sound of Music, and I've done television stuff, uh, such as Life with Boys. I am here with Michael Murphy and Tori Webster, and you guys are, you guys play twins on a show called Life with Boys. You're right. You never know when it's going to rain. Let's go. I've seen enough sunscreen, he's just skin aging, easy boots and moles, age spots, liver spots, and the scaly blotch is known as ectic keratosis. Sorry, what? I fell asleep. Spoken like a true non-genius. Be nice to my friend and don't ruin the weekend by acting like, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh yeah, you. We're just a couple of girls out getting smoothies at a place we always go. So you have your acceptance speech already. This is working much better. True, but in 40 years, when your skin looks like an old leather couch, you will remember this day and weep. Uh, I got into acting at quite a young age. I was actually asked to do modeling uh, when I was young and then began doing commercials and then started doing theater uh, and then went into television. So sort of a gradual progression through. I got it. Hello. It's you. Well, I've, I mean, the two roles that I've played uh, that have been sort of very successful um, were I played Kurt Von Trapp in The Sound of Music, uh, and that I really enjoyed. Uh, and then I played Sam in Life of Boys, which was quite a fun role, um, sort of the comedic relief of the show. So that was really fun. Um, and dream role, I don't really know. <laughs> we'll see. Stephen Hawking, those lady doctors who invented proactive. Thank you. I, I entered into high school um, having just come off of Sound of Music, um, and then in the last part of grade nine, I actually did the show. Um, so people sort of knew me within the precedent of having done theater, but then uh, once the show actually came out, um, I mean, people didn't necessarily treat me differently, um, but I think there, there was certain interest within it, um, and uh, I mean, they, they, I suppose. Some people who had n knew me previously uh, didn't necessarily change their sensibility towards me, um, but people at my school who kind of knew me, um, but then knew me previously after the show was finished, um, it, it did a change a bit. Nerd Camp is in town accepting a nerd award from the Nerd Association of what's the word I'm looking for? Oh yeah, nerds! <laughs> He's not a nerd. He's a genius. And it's not the Nerd Association of Nerds. He's being honored as Man of the Year by the Deep Orbital Research and Kinematic Society. Acting does sort of impede on my education. Um, when I was doing the television show, I would do two hours a day with a tutor on set, and I was out for four or five months of the year, so I was not attending a school day at all. Um, so that certainly had its problems with it, um, but my school was accommodating uh, in that sense, um, and one just has to sort of carry on through it and a lot of self-study. Hey! Speak for yourself. Adam Smasher! Samurai Warrior! <laughs> so, what are we all doing this weekend? At times, I mean, I, I do sometimes feel like I do miss out on normal life. I, necess I haven't really had a sort of congenial school life. I haven't, there hasn't been a time where I've just simply attended uh, school and gone through for kind of a full year without um, previous obligations to acting and all that. Um, so I mean it, it does affect it but I really am privileged to be able to have that outlet and I enjoy what I do so. Um, well I'd have to say my models are in terms of acting are a lot of comedians. I really like Steve Martin. I still think she is hiding something Ponton. What? Well if I knew what she was hiding then it wouldn't be hidden would it? Mm. Eugene Levy. And you, you know, I was thinking, uh, boy, it's been a long time since we've had the little father-son uh, uh, chat. Adam Sandler. Air, 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 Today, Junior! <laughs> People like that. I, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm, I don't like them. Um, but yeah, I, I am kind of drawn towards com comedy, so. My 
parents have been supportive. Uh, this is all very new for them. They're not at all involved in that industry um, and their work does not at all implicate within acting. Uh, so they're, they're very much so supportive, um, though I think at times they find it a bit strenuous and a bit odd just in terms of my scheduling um, and what sort of acting entails with my life. So in case, but it's pretty basic. I'm going to start by thanking my colleagues and my mom, blah, blah, blah. I figured if I keep it under five minutes, not everyone will fall asleep. I, I do not enjoy watching myself at all. Um, one becomes sort of very cognizant about every movement and it becomes really irritating actually to watch yourself on it. Um, and you become very self-critical uh, seeing yourself on it. So I actually don't watch myself on it at, at all, ever, unless I have to when we're in a certain setting where it's sort of a necessity. Well, I, I had to do, one funny experience was I had to do a bathtub scene. Um, so that was actually very funny. In this freezing cold studio and they filled this bathtub that they had full of like foam and I was in like sweatpants underneath and they covered foam all over me and so I mean that was a fun afternoon but it was interesting and different. What did you bring me? A model of the Colosseum complete with lions and fake blood. Cool! I told you you should have bought it. He thought you a t-shirt and chocolates that melted on the bus. Memorization has always come quite naturally to me, so memorizing lines um, I actually find quite easy. Uh, as one sort of progresses through the years, you're able to do it better. Um, but originally, I would just say repetition was probably the biggest thing for, for me. Uh, just repeat it over and over, um, and just say it over and over again aloud, so that's probably the best. There's hydrogen and helium and lithium beryllium and acetate and iodine and oxygen and radium and carbon sequence. Being on set is amazing. It's it's a very hectic place. It's very busy. Um, it's a very fun place. Uh, people from all walks of life sort of assemble there and it's sort of like an interesting forum. Um, and people in the entertainment industry are normally uh, quite eccentric and interesting, so it's, it's a really fun place. Well, isn't this a coinkadink? There's nothing coinkadinkle about it. You followed us here. I well, all were filmed within Canada um, of of the shows that I've done. Um, I think a lot of them are on networks in the states and are also on networks globally. Um, so I'm, I think Life with Boys is in like 82 countries. Life with Boys. Eu não acredito. Tá dando o telefone. Cara, foi o máximo. Toca aqui. Working with Madison is great. Obviously, she comes with like a lot of experience, having done a lot of like Disney stuff previously, um, and she's really like quite the star uh, in America and as well within Canada. So like being even in, being in public with her, she gets recognized quite often. So it's funny, but she she handles it very well, um, and it's sort of interesting to hear like the whole dynamic of the like American pop culture industry because that's something she's very involved with. Um, so it's, it's, I mean, it's very interesting to have someone who's at that caliber sort of to have their take on it. It's really cool. Um, I was actually nominated recently for a, a what they call the Canadian Screen Awards um, that they, I think they just erected sometime last year. Um, and I received a nomination for that, for the work that I did on Life with Boys. Uh, so that was very nice and flattering. I didn't win, but... <laughs> yeah. Well, I know someone who can cross greeter at Walmart off his possible summer job list. Working with people that are my age, as well as younger and people that are older, because um, the show sort of covers a wide spectrum. Um, I, I've actually found that it's it's sometimes easier to shoot with people that are younger. Uh, they're n normally uh, more energetic and are able to sort of get it more so quickly. Um, but then, I mean, there's issues with both. People have good days and people have bad days. Um, and I've noticed actually that it, sometimes the older you get, uh, sometimes the more difficult it is to get through it. So, I mean, it, it differs and it sort of has to speak to each circumstantial case, but. Easy side up this morning. Don't play easy with me. You know exactly what I'm talking about. And it's been going on for years. Ooh, I wanna play too. Be careful. Dinosaur hungry, eat cereal. <laughs> Oops. And I will not have that happen this time. I mean, when you're working with people 24-7, literally for six months straight, 
like every single day during the week you do sort of develop a close uh, knit dynamic um, and even now that the show's finished and we're off filming I'll still keep up with a lot of them and even when it was filming um, we'll sometimes go out for dinner or out together on the weekends um, so it, it I mean it does become sort of a very social uh, bunching and grouping um, and that's really nice to have within that I, I think when I'm older I'd like to continue on with acting um, if it if I do manage to pursue it or if it does take off in any way um, but I'm, I'm also interested um, in art curating and art restoration and design and stuff like that so maybe interior architecture or something along those lines so we'll see